Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Continuing on our series of the signs of the servant's love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala We reached the portion of the treaties where Shaykh al-Islam said being pleased with his decree meaning that one of the signs that the servant is exhibiting love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that they're pleased with the divine decree, the Qadr. And we know that is a pillar of Iman, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in Tu'mino bi Qadri Khairihi wa Shar, that a person should, uh, that Iman is loving, uh, uh, believing in the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the divine decree, the good and the evil of it. So Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala said, being pleased with his decree. Also being pleased with what he is afflicted with in the path of his beloved, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Instead, he doesn't even consider it. This is primarily due to the fact that he knows that is what, I, what his beloved Allah intended. So it becomes the most adored thing to him due to the fact that that it encompasses the pleasure of his beloved, even if it includes obliteration of his own self. Fudail ibn Iyad rahimahullah ta'ala said, The status of being pleased with Allah is the rank of those who are close to him, there being nothing between them and him except rest, provision, and gardens of delight. A man asked Fudayl ibn Iyad rahimahullah ta'ala, when has a man reached the pinnacle in his love of Allah? So he rahimahullah ta'ala said, when you see his giving to you and withholding from you to be for the same reason, for the sake of Allah and not for personal reasons, then he has reached the pinnacle in his love of Allah. Dhunun rahimahullah ta'ala said, Three things are from the signs of muhabba, meaning the love of Allah. Being pleased with things that you dislike from the things that were decreed by Allah. Having a good opinion of Allah in that he will reward you for the efforts you have put forth. And to consider those things Allah has forbidden to be beneficial, meaning it is a benefit for you that they are prohibited. Abdu Wahid ibn Zayd rahimahullah ta'ala said, I don't give any deed precedence over patience except being pleased with Allah. And I don't know a level higher and more noble than being pleased with Allah, which is the axis or the pinnacle of muhabba, meaning love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we ask Allah, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who love him. And may Allah bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.